Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I will tell you how to clear the Golden Kingdom without a problem. First we have to start uh, with our setup. There I would recommend to have like one main march. For example, in this case I have two main marches because of Saladin and Thutmose. So keep in mind that Thutmose and Saladin are archers. First I would recommend to clear every early stage until 4 so you get a lot of buffs and you don't get a lot of damage because the early stages are really easy to play. What you look for is a healing buff where you recover a lot of troops and sometimes you will be able to heal your troops from fights and also get front stats and your troop stats. You want to take the most tanky march and in this case it's Kusanogi with YSG because I will go archer stats and cast stats so just make sure you prioritize the troop type when you can recruit troops from your main marches. In this case I change my formation so I will get damage on my recruitment marches and not on my main marches. This will add up in the end and you will have way stronger marches with your main marches so keep them alive as long as possible. In this run I'm pretty lucky I got the horn and it will heal the lowest troop so you can use it to heal your troops while fighting the enemies and clear everything out. But sometimes you will not get as lucky as me and you might have to reset the Golden Kingdom sometimes. Like what you can do is just clear first four stages and then look for the horn or another healing. For example the book. Now I just set in two marches because the lowest march will heal and I will just rotate Thutmose and Saladin so they get like some healing and yeah I just make sure that I get a lot of I use the healing to the best value. In this case I chose uh, front troops health because it's really good um, but you could also go the reduced damage. It almost does the same, but since I have um, I focus on stats in the front troop, it's really good. How you choose buffs is like when you have the right buffs, the small um, enemies will be not not a problem. So just focus on like the arrows and the damage reduction to beat the strong enemies, because there's the only way you can fail when you have like the healing effects. I notice that I get too much damage that I don't heal so I just put in, in another march to get some HP back. So I just sacrifice the added troop for my salad and health. If you have like stats versus troop capacity, I would always take troop capacity because healing effects are scaling with troop capacity most of the times. And stats wise, of course, health, defense, and then attack. And also keep in mind front troops over troop buffs. So when you have 30% health for Archers and 30% health for frontline troops, just take the frontline troops because you will only play with frontline troops most of the times. This shield is really good when you fight against weaker enemies, you might be able to heal because of the shield.
Here again you have the choice against um, healing and damage, you always choose healing. Here I just chose to do them to get more buffs for later stages. So in early stages when you feel like that you don't lose any troops and you have like a healing pot station that you didn't use and you can still clear a stage clear an enemy to get potential good buffs. Here again, sacrifice um, 2 HP from a uh, bad march to um, heal my main marches or preserve them. Here you can choose between backline and reduce damage. You always choose reduce damage because backline is not the best stats. Or they don't convert them really good because you always fill your frontline first and they will go to the fight first. So backline stats are pretty much not important. The healing pot is really good, it synergizes really well with um, the horn and also the book. Always clear the fog when there's no turret and you don't get any damage for it, so make sure you always clear the fog. Maybe you will get a healing station or maybe something else. But at this point I will try to preserve my health from the troops and not clear the epic ones if possible and only clear the boss. I put all troops in because I get too much damage and I want to fully utilize the healing station. I was kinda concerned about the health of my main troops, so I just sacrificed the weaker marches without equipment um, for the HP of the main marches.
this is one of the best healing things. The book is one of the best healing things, so always take it. At this stage, uh, it was it became really hard for me to clear every stage, so I just chose to um, activate my eye to see where the um, guardian is, the flow boss is. At this stage, uh, it was it became really hard for me to clear every stage, so I just chose to um, activate my eye to see where the um, guardian is, the flow boss is. In this stage I got really unlucky and um, I did a small mistake there because I wanted to clear everything and then I clicked on the epic one and I wanted to teleport the epic one but it didn't go away. I was really worried but fortunately I could beat it because we did the small steps in the beginning. This will add up and you will be able to beat every golden kingdom in the future. Subscribe and like my video or I will zero your Rise of Kingdoms account. Catch you later.